were harassed, sexually assaulted, threatened, and completely terrified. Startling allegations coming out of the Clark County Jail tonight. A corrections officer accused of giving male inmates access to the female side of the jail. And now 13 Investigates has learned that 20 women claim that access led to attacks and rape behind bars. And tonight at 6, our Jenny Runovich digs into this lawsuit against the Sheriff's Department. Well, the allegations in this lawsuit are disturbing. A jail guard accused of selling a key to male prisoners who allegedly used it to assault and rape nearly two dozen female inmates. 20 women listed in the federal lawsuit call it a night of terror at the Clark County Jail, an alleged attack by male prisoners uninterrupted for hours. Women were harassed, sexually assaulted, threatened, and completely terrified. When I met with each and every one of these women and they broke down repeatedly. You get an impression and understanding of what these women went through. According to the complaint, the incident last October started with a bribe behind bars from David Lowe, a now former corrections officer who's facing separate criminal charges. The civil lawsuit says Lowe, in exchange for money, gave male inmates keys to access the female jail pod. Which of course allowed the male inmates at one point during the night to come in with their faces shielded by articles of clothing or towels. The lawsuit claims multiple men grabbed and groped the female inmates, exposed their genitals, and at least two women, the suit says, were raped. Alleged attacks that lasted hours. These females were doing everything they could to alert the jail staff. They were pounding on the door for help. They were hitting the buzzer on the inside of the pod in order to alert jail staff. The lawsuit claims once officers did respond, the female inmates were punished by losing privileges. Attorneys say they're now working to get video footage of the alleged incident, but the mere presence of cameras inside and the alleged lack of staff intervention is why attorneys tell 13 Investigates the women are suing not only David Lowe, but also the sheriff and unknown jailers. This was a complete and utter breakdown of the one thing that you should be rely, you should be able to rely upon jails to provide, and that's security. And when that happens in the night, men crashing through the door, and you have zero control from that moment on, maybe you can start to understand the damages these women went through. 13 investigates reached out to the Clark County Sheriff's Office today, and they told us they don't comment on pending litigation, but they did tell us that David Lowe was investigated and arrested the night of this alleged incident. His felony case goes on trial in September. If you want to read the civil lawsuit, we've got it for you on WTHR.com.